On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and write. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Sunday morning to each and every person out there tuning into On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, you don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, in the morning, my peeps, all of the ones and ones them traversing to church in the morning, please remember On The Spot News Media, it's loyal viewers and subscribers in your immediate prayers. You definitely see how Jamaica run right now. So, you know for sure so we definitely need that now more than ever and also you don't know so to the name sunday the official red rice and rooster dear yeah man may i tell you so to all of the ones and ones them in the kitchen i deal with the finger licking chicken or whatsoever me kind you definitely i go put pan the red rice now the man in here bless upon yourself safe travel pan the gravel for those who are traverse the streets continue to look out on the corner yeah because what the old dirty corner boy them always out there alerts <laughs> yeah man so the first thing that we are gonna kick it off with in the morning my peeps is this small video clip presently on your screen mega played a couple of times so you can really watch it properly i'm wanting to tell me that the comment section wanna get from this particular video so especially to the criminal elements them out there plaguing our society and also the younger youths them we are look up to them criminal elements here and aspire to be like them watch this video closely and tell me personally that this is a life that you would love to live or this is a life that you like to be living tell me you now my peeps how art breaking is this video the son of the accused man in the handcuffs. I'm not sure what he's charged for, so I'll not say certain things in regards to him. But his son ran to greet him just before police whisk him away in a police vehicle. I'm pretty sure his son was glad to see him, but I'm also pretty sure that his son's heart was also broken. And for a father to hug his son in such a given condition, I am pretty sure even if, and I repeat, if he is a cold-hearted criminal at that point in time, something must have touched him on the shoulder to say, yo, me have to do better for the little youth. Yeah. So to the ones and ones them out there, who is pursuing a criminal path. Look on this video. Especially if you don't have kids or family members out there. Is this the legacy that you want to leave for your offspring or your family members? Is this the legacy? Is this the memory that you want to remain constant in their minds? No, that is the question. But anyway, make we continue. Now my peeps, I'm going to play a rather disturbing video. One that has lots of expletives. So I beg your forgiveness where that is concerned. But certain videos should not be edited. It should be played as such. So people can understand fully and get the full feeling from what is really going on. So again, I do apologize for the expletives because I know for sure that a lot of my viewers and subscribers are children of the Most High. So again, my apologies, but watch and understand why I did what I did. Listen. <laughs> I'm not 
Jesse, why are you for me, Kim? Jesse, I'm rotting, Kim. Look at that pervert. Ball out that number there for me now. Yeah. Wally baby, Wally baby, Wally baby. Bombard. The man have him pants up, me no Kim. The man pants up more. I never talk about why me a pint. So now, my peeps, after watching that disturbing video. On the spot news media got a barrage of reports from females all over the corporate area that this man has been at this type of disturbing behavior for years not just a year ago you know me at about over 10 12 15 years ago this man is an habitual dirty type of man we go around and go seek where he may find young girls whether they are playing at their home or in a learning institution and stand there and fondle himself until he ejaculates yeah man may i tell you a real dirty man so for those who did not get that license plates his license plate number is 2406er so I hope that members of the JCF has his license plate and will definitely track him down and take him off the streets. On the spot news media has received numerous messages about this man stating that he is habitual in his dirty, nasty behavior. He has been spotted multiple times over the years at the St. Hughes High School for Girls. He has also been spotted at the St. Hughes Prep School. He has also been spotted at the Edna Manley School for the Visual Arts. He has also been spotted at the Michael Practicing All Aid School. He was also spotted multiple times along Arnold Road where they house some of the Michael Teachers College teachers. He was also spotted many times over by michael this man has been traveling all around he has been seen behind central branch early school he has also been seen behind the chatola park primary school now this brother here definitely a travel the corporate area over the years and committing this same nasty act he was also seen along the edith dalton high school roadway in Doheny Park. So this brother here definitely a menace to society. Many persons have also stated that this man was caught and beaten several times by men in the respective communities. It is also stated that he was reported numerous times about his nasty behavior to the police but nothing was done. Now he is still at large committing these same nasty acts in fact this man is a man that used to run taxi on the road too so can you imagine if he might behave this way where little girls are concerned what he would do if him pick up the people in school picking in him taxi come on people of jamaica who no know where this little germs is who no need to flush him out yeah man and him over to the squad of them and make the squad of them put him before the courts and have him dealt with in the most severe way possible but anyway my peeps make we continue now over there in the parish of clarendon it is said that these two men are no longer among the land of the living <laughs> yeah man may i tell you say a series of knockings and clappings go on involving a member of the jamaica constabulary force at a party in clarendon now may i go give you the official police reports as it relates to this particular incident on your screen to the left in the full red is clayton pink otherwise known as chinny and also to your right 
a man known as Jerome Smith, also called Vibes. Both men are from the James Hill era in Frankfield, Clarendon. Information received by on the spot news media is that a police constable who is attached to the Spalding police station was at a party with the two deceased men when a confrontation took place between the constable and Clayton Pink around 12.40 a.m. that morning. It is reported that Pink pointed a weapon in the direction of the police constable and the police constable took evasive action, took his firearm from his waistband and fired one shot in the direction of Clayton Pink. Pink was hit by the policeman's bullet and fell to the ground immediately. However, Jerome Smith, who was standing in close proximity to Pink, was also hit by that same bullet. It is said in the police report that Pink and Smith was taken to the hospital where both men were pronounced, you know what, upon arrival. No, it is a really sad situation, right? So, because in the com reports is stating that no firearm was recovered from that scene, but the police report is also stating that a member of John Public took up that firearm and hid it. So we have to go wait until further investigation to really find out what really take place. Because reports from the Gleaner headline news is that no firearm was pointed at the police officer but a bottle was thrown in his face by Pink and then the constable took his firearm from his waistband and fired one shot in the direction of Pink hitting Smith also. So I'm not for sure how the story really go. But on the spot news media is definitely on it because we really want to find out what really go on in the altercation there. Because it is said that the policeman is now presently in custody facing charges. So I'm not for sure how all of this play out and why the policeman is in custody. So we definitely have to go do some serious digging and uncover the truth behind this story because something definitely not add up. Yeah, man. So information received from on the spot news media is that Clayton Pink is a known troublemaker from the Frankfield area, very well known to the police. And he's a type of youth that will push somebody to the very limit and then run to a Mapen police station, go cry wolf. He's that type of person. And not just one or two confirmation have gotten about his type of behavior. So persons are saying that they would not be surprised that he is the aggressor in that confrontation with him and the policeman as both of them are from the same area but he's a known troublemaker so on the spot news media will definitely be doing some digging to ascertain more facts and bring it to you the regular members of chan public and members of the diaspora so anyway my peeps remember if you like share subscribe to the channel stay tuned to on the spot news media as i continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts on the spot news media yeah man